Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Woodruff and welcome to the Fort Report. It's no secret that Fort Worth is known as Cowtown and while we embrace our western heritage, residents here know that there is more to our city than cowboys and cattle. It also is a place with great cultural diversity and more than a quarter of a century ago, city visionaries decided we needed a way to highlight all the art and beauty our city has to offer. And that is how the Main Street Arts Festival was born. Now celebrating its 28th year, the annual Main Street Arts Festival offers great art, delicious food, wonderful live music, amazing performance artists, and lots and lots of family fun. The Arts Festival, it's April 18th through the 21st. We will have Main Street totally open, nine blocks from the courthouse to the convention center, three stages, and 208 just absolutely incredible artists. Every year, about 1,500 artists apply to be a part of the annual show, and that number is whittled down to 208 select few, ensuring that every year, festival goers are treated to new, talented, and diverse art and artists. And this year, there's a special new spirit near the JFK Tribute Park. Craft Brew uh, Pavilion will have 11 taps. We'll have beer tasting sessions. We also have wine tasting sessions during the event. Uh, activity uh, tents where you can make your own canvas, a uh, large piece of canvas where you can actually paint and enjoy a bottle of wine as well. So many new things going on. With all the construction going on in Sundance Square, that main stage will move one block west. And with the street closures, getting downtown can be tricky. Even with all the free parking available downtown, public transportation offers a hassle-free way to get to all the fun. The TRE is going to be running on Sunday. We'll be uh, coming in from Dallas and all points in between. Also, uh, we have public transit options this year, both with the T, the buses, on their way into downtown, because the ITC is just very close to here, the, uh, the bus station. But also we're doing a, uh, you, you can ride for a buck. It's only a $1 each way. Uh, the Billy Bob shuttle, which will come from Billy Bob's parking lot into downtown and back uh, for a dollar each direction. Going to the festival is a great experience, but being a part of it is a great time too. We need 1,200 uh, people to run this event effectively over the course of the four days. And uh, we always are successful. I mean, every year we are able to, to have our, um, you know, we are able to do everything that we need to do but it's always about this time when we make sure everyone knows, hey, if you're thinking about it and you have any interest in it, we'd love to have you. You know, of course, you get a t-shirt, you get a free beverage for working your shift, but you get the, I mean, the feeling of actually being in downtown and helping others enjoy their experience downtown is really one of the, one of the best parts of it. Main Street Arts Festival has an iPhone app and you can keep up with the schedule and fun by following the event on Facebook and Twitter. So check out the website to learn more. Improper disposal of unused and expired medications is a real challenge for residents and the environment. Opportunities for drug abuse pose a risk for children and pets. Improper disposal of medications also contaminates the soil and the water. The city offers environmentally safe options for the disposal of over-the-counter and prescription drugs. Take Back Events, it's, uh, it's coming up April the 27th. We are going to be at several locations. We're also going to let our uh, Fort Worth residents dispose of any unwanted or expired medication at their site. If you have anything at home you want to get rid of, whether it's pills, whether it's liquids, powders, creams, anything, samples, including animal medication, we'll be glad to, to get it from your hands. Um, once the event is done, we are also partnering with the DEA. So they take custody of the medication and dispose legally. The Take Back Meds program is held in April and September. But if you miss the event, you still have the chance to do the right thing. We also have three permanent locations that we have just um, installed back in November. They're um, free to come by, just drop them off. It's basically a mailbox where they just drop in their medications and they can go. For more information about Take Back Meds, visit their website or call 817 392-3279. Here's a look at other events happening in and around Fort Worth in the next few weeks.
For a listing of more events and city meetings, you always can check the calendar at the city's website.